In this demonstration, you will see how you can use Ansible to automate Google Cloud Platform. Uh, what you see in this demo is uh, the newest set of Ansible modules to create GCP resources, how to configure the GCP credentials within Ansible Tower, how you can construct a playbook to provision GCP resources like disk, network, IP address and an instance. And finally, we will see how you can use Ansible Tower Dynamic Inventory to discover the newer resources within Google Cloud Platform. So let's get started. With Ansible version 2.6 and above, you have the newest set of Ansible modules starting with GCP underscore naming convention, which will be uh, used to create all GCP resources like disk, network, IP address, and finally the instance. So first and foremost, we need to provide the credentials to connect to Google Cloud Platform within the Ansible Tower. So if I log into my Ansible Tower and show you the credentials frame here, you need to create a new credential of type Google Cloud. You choose Google Cloud here and select then you need to give your service account email address and the project name of the Google Cloud Platform followed by the service account credentials. For the purpose of this demonstration, I already created a GCP credential in the name GCP. And I have chosen the credential type as Google Cloud Engine. Given the service account email address, the project name and the private key to authenticate to GCP here. So if I go to my Google Cloud console, you see that currently I'm part of Ansible-Tower-Rigid project. And if I go to Compute Engine and choose disks, you see I don't have any disks as of now in Ansible-Tower-Rigid project. The same with the VPC network, I only have the default virtual private cloud networks. No external IPv4 address and the instance are empty. I don't have any virtual machine or instance here. So what we do next is we actually see how you can create a playbook so that you can create these resources like disk, VPC network, IPv4 address and finally the instance. So in the playbook you will have the first task which basically creates a disk which will be mapped from a certified rel8 image so we use the gcp underscore compute underscore disk module as you see here and i'm going to create this disk in the us dash central one dash a zone in google cloud platform and i'm going to name it as disk dash instance so that when you create the disk it will be easy to uh, filter that disk with this particular name and I'm using two variables in this playbook one is gcp underscore project and the other one is gcp underscore cred underscore kind which maps to service account so these two variables are referenced within the first task as to which project you should have these resources created and what is the authentication type which is the service account which I showed earlier and we already added the service account details as Ansible Tower credential in the earlier step. So task one will create a disk mapped from a certified well image. The second task will create a virtual private cloud network using the module GCP underscore compute underscore network. And as with the task one, we use uh, two variables project and dot underscore kind here as well so that it knows how to go and authenticate to GCP. Task number three will create a public IPv4 address and uh, I call it as address dash instance and the same variables are used in this task as well. And then we have the final task which will actually create the relate instance and in this task, we use GCP underscore compute underscore instance Ansible module. We name the instance as rel8 and the type is n1-standard-1 
and we use the disk the network uh, interface as the VPC network which we created earlier and uh, the authentication kind and the project like what we had earlier and the zone is US Central 1-A so if I am to show you the same uh, playbook in my demo tower machine this is how it looks like it actually starts from the task create a disk then finally creating a VPC network IPv4 address then to the relate instance then I have a final task using the debug module which will show you the relate instance IPv4 address so let's go and uh, execute this task with an Ansible tower so I've created a template already GCP create underscore resources which is a job template combining the credential which I created earlier as well as the project which contains the same playbook so what I do here is I will go and execute this job template start it what it does is it actually connects to the uh, Google Cloud Platform authenticate first then create the disk so let me go and refresh this page it should momentarily show you the disk which we just gave in the first task disk dash instance and if I go to the networks you should be seeing the new network being created below other than the default one network dash instance and the IPv4 external address should be momentarily created let's go and check what is the status of the job here yeah, it is creating the IPv4 public IP address that that particular task just got finished let's refresh the GCP console you should see that external IP address here there you go and finally let's see whether the instance is being created yes you see the rel 8 instance just got created with the same external IP address so if I go and check the job output you see that the final task also is successful it says the rel 8 instance is accessible at 35202174418 the IP address let's verify the same IP address is here 35202174418 so this way we just saw that how you can use Ansible uh, native GCP modules to create the resources and it just doesn't end there Ansible Tower has the capability to dynamically go and discover these new GCP instances by way of dynamic inventory script so I have a dynamic inventory script also created if I go to the inventories I have a GCP inventory created as of now I don't see any host but if I go to sources you see that I have the source being used as GCP if I click there I'm using the same credential which I used in the first uh, slide the GCP credential and I'm filtering these instances from the region US Central A and the source is Google Compute Engine so if I go and do a sync go to inventories select the inventory go to sources and if I hit sync it should connect to the GCP API and should show you the new hosts which are part of our Google Cloud so if I go to host here you should see that the new host with the IP address 35202174418 has been discovered and yes the name of the host or the instance is relate so if you look here you see that the same external IP address and host name reflects in Google Cloud as well as Ansible Tower as well so uh, automating Google Cloud resources within Ansible and Ansible Tower is very easy with the newer set of modules and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration thank you for watching